Greetings. This is Edward Ojumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript comparison operators will be used to compare two values. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. Comparison operators determine whether values are equal, not equal, greater than, less than, or within a specified range. For jumboshop.com learning JavaScript web IDE can be used for this tutorial and it also inspired this tutorial. As you already know, JavaScript uh, runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications, and it can also run server-side uh, to let applications, JavaScript applications run outside a web browser. So let's begin. As you can see here, this is the web IDE, and you can output simply clicking compile. In a future tutorial, I'll try to get uh, another way so you guys can follow along if you don't have uh, uh, the jumboshop.com web ID. Alright, so I'll create a few variables here. So let name one equals John, let name two equals James. And I'll say let m1 equals 12 and let num2 equals 22. I'll just output this. I could create another variable, but we've done this so many times. So this compares if they are the same. And this one compares if name one equals 10. So both of those I expect to be false. And now for the numeric ones, num one is greater than num two. Obviously that's false because 12 is not greater than uh, 22. And the other one will be num one is equal to which is also false. So we should get four false. I made a mistake here. Oh, this one here. And you see false, 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 false. You can find the full article jumbo.com slash javascript hyphen comparison hyphen operators. As you can see, I have a table for you and you can expand the code snippet to get it. This is just a screenshot of the first part of the learning JavaScript course. And this is the output with using the web IDE. This is the video you're watching right now. Be sure to subscribe for more videos. Uh, the reason I'm doing all these learning uh, courses is because I want to, after this ends, I want to create some more advanced uh, things you guys can easily follow along, some applications, games, and etc. And this is the learning JavaScript course at jumboshop.com. There's also a learning Python course at jumboshop.com. If you remember for the learning Python course, you created some simple applications like the GUIs and the uh, MySQL application, including PHP, web, uh, web applications. Uh, so this is the learning PHP course, also at jumboshop.com. If you prefer to learn by yourself, uh, just the eBooks, which don't have the web IDE or the uh, for example, PHP or Python or JavaScript are upcoming. You can simply get these books at uh, Amazon. You can click the links here, uh, all in the description. And this is jumboservices.com if you prefer one-on-one -on -one tutorials online. So if we go to uh, the links are here, as I said before, you so see the uh, JavaScript course, Python course, PHP course, uh, ebook, Python ebook, PHP ebook, and jumboservices.com. If we go to Amazon, you just search for Edward Ojumbo and just click on the name there, be the first one. You can get uh, a Python, learning Python ebook. If you have Kindle Unlimited, it's free. I'll do the same thing for the upcoming JavaScript one as well. And then there's the also learning a PHP ebook. If you go to jumboservices.com, uh, if you need any of these services, like our website, anything to do with the websites, 
uh, if you have applications or if you want uh, tutorial sessions one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, for programming or office software or 3D software uh, you can simply get a free quote you can also call direct if you're not medical uh, or do the direct dial anywhere around oh, the best way to contact is to go to the contact page for this information and get back to you within 24 hours thank you